Yeah, guys, it is worth pointing out that Maggie Hassan waved off and offered a ban third party money in the People's Pledge by Kelly Ayotte, calling it a stunt by a well funded incumbent. So buckle up for a super PAC battle that could maybe overshadow the campaigns themselves. Scott Brown was right on Obamacare. Two years ago, the Senate race tally was 30 million, all courtesy of third party gold cards with a catchy name. Ending Spending Action Fund is responsible for the content of this advertising. But in 2016, and the balance of power at stake in the U.S. Senate, the Ayotte Hassan matchup is expected to shatter outside spending records, as super PACs will dump a fortune on the airwaves telling you what matters. She seems to think that her job is about restricting abortion, limiting access to birth control, and refusing to even consider the president's nominee to the Supreme Court. While Maggie Hassan keeps dodging the issue, Kelly Ayotte has introduced legislation to keep Gitmo open and terrorists behind bars. Like it or not, short of a Supreme Court 180 on Citizens United, the Super PAC will be a major player in the national races on down the ticket. Ultimately, the Super PACs are shaping a new landscape for politics. And despite the knocks, Greg Moore of Americans for Prosperity points out that Citizens United has also coincided with a noteworthy parallel. With the advent of Super PACs really getting engaged for the first presidential cycle, we had the highest turnout we've ever seen in New Hampshire. But perhaps the biggest counter argument can be found in two of the biggest surprises of this election cycle. One candidate who has shattered records for individual contributions. I don't want their money. I don't want a super PAC. We're going to do it on our own. And another who just doesn't seem to need the help. I'm $40 million under budget, and I'm number one in the polls. Oh, super PACs aren't limited to the White House in the Senate races either. Today, one organized in part by Chris Christie's, Christie's former campaign manager here in New Hampshire announced that it will operate in support of congressional candidate Republican Rich Ashew. Obviously won't coordinate with the Ashew campaign. That is a violation of election law. Reporting live, Josh McKelvin, WMUR News 9.